Hey people, um, I'm using my iPod Touch as a recording device, and I want to see if this will actually upload to Facebook or, not, or not Facebook, but YouTube. And I look kind of weird right now. <laughs> like, if you look in the light, though, how clear it is, look at all my freckles. You can, like, see every little freckle and all my little bumps. And Yeah, this is really starting to annoy me down here. Yeah, I want to keep it in the shadow because it's not as bad. See? Without the light, you can't really- I look clear. You still see the bumps on my chin. Don't like the bumps on my chin. Anyway, um, I'm making this vlog about the fashions, uh, I don't know. Kinda random right now. Well, about a week ago, I told my friend who gets into fashions, like, really hard and it's kinda funny watching. Because, I mean, she doesn't fail at it. She does really good. It was just like, she'll go from one fashion to the other. And I can't hardly keep up with what fashion she's in next. No, I'm kidding. It's actually, um, she stayed in Lolita about two years, I think. And then she went to Fairy K, Decora, within those two years. And now she's in steampunk. Well, first she went into, like, more of a... Renaissance and then the steampunk, which the renaissance and steampunk look can actually go together, so I guess she's still on the renaissance. I don't know. Anyway, I told her about steampunk and she had no idea what it was, and I was like, really? Because I've known this for about three years? When did I go to AUSA? Three years ago? And, um, it's just, I was like, really? You don't know what it is? Wow. And it's just, I, I found it kind of funny because, I mean, she's like really into fashion and steampunk should be one of the fashions that pop up. And that made me think, maybe it's not that popular. Maybe I just, I put myself in those groups that, you know, know about it and it's like, boosh, everyone knows about it and that was a little group and I just happened to be in that group. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Anyway, because I got her into it, she's been non-stop talking about steampunk. She has steampunked her computer up. Her background is steampunk. Her icons have gears around them. Her iPhone is now steampunked out. <laughs> and it's just like, okay, this is a big uplifter because I like the fashion and I was into it, but I wasn't didn't have like that big push to get really into it. You know, I didn't have someone there beside me. I mean, James liked it, but... He just likes it really for the look, not for the full out history behind it or um, like the full, full look. He likes the guns and the uh, goggles, I think. I don't know if he likes the full look. I have to ask him, I don't remember. But um, the first time I saw this look was in uh, Castle in the Sky. You know, it's back in that era when they were using the steam machines and using steam to power stuff and hence the word steam. Anyway, <laughs> I found the look there and I've kind of like fell in love with the look. Basically it's the old timey kind of look and that's my heater in the background just for you guys to know that way you're like, what is that loud noise? Loud noise that just popped in the background. What is it? Anyway, uh, so because she's into it and she's steampunking everything, it makes me want to go all out for it as well and not just kind of have it on the side like I've been at, you know, like, oh yeah, I know what steampunk is and yeah, it's a pretty cool fashion. No, I don't ever dress in it because, well, I always thought it was going to be too much. But she's helping me realize that it's not too much. So I've been spending my entire morning since I woke up at 7, 5. I woke up at 5 this morning. I don't think I even slept. I can't remember. I was on my iPod and on my computer. And then I think I went to sleep for a couple of hours. Because I woke up and the laptop was like still on my stomach. Where I'd slipped down into bed. Yeah. It was kind of funny. And I like looked at my hand. I was holding my iPod. I was like. When did that get there? Yeah. So. I have no idea if I even slept at all. I can't remember. I, I feel energized, so I think I slept. I'm not sure though. I need food though. I am hungry. Anyway, this is one of the things. Poosh. I have yet to know what this makes. I just, it's sub one materials. And it looks like this. This is the materials. 
So, yeah, I have, I've been, I don't know, I'm random, I can't think. I did look at the banger and, um, some videos from them, and then I found some, you know, my steampunk fashion, uh, my steampunk closet, you know, those types of videos. Those are pretty cool to watch. And then, of course, I found, like, the steampunk fashion shows, which weren't as helpful as some might think. I mean, it is, but you don't like really break down the outfit like those, you know, my steampunk, you know, outfit does. So, I've decided that whenever I get a full outfit that I have qualified myself as steampunk, blah blah, I shall upload details about where I got it, how I made it, or, uh, just what it is. Um, supposedly she's gonna help me get into steampunk at the same time she's in it herself now, so, it's funny. I mean, it's not, I'm not making fun of her because I literally love what she's doing. It's just, it's like kind of funny to just like sit back and watch and be like, man, that that should have been me. You know, not really should have, but could have, basically. If I had more motivation for the fashion, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not really that big on fashions. I mean, I am. At the same time, I'm like, I look at a fashion and I start noting of how much the fashion is going to cost, you know? Like, for Dolly K, which I'm starting to get into, I have to get more vintage clothing, which, okay, vintage clothing is, like, really, really cheap, so that's not a big-ass problem here. But, go to Goodwill, okay? And yes, they are cheap, but a shirt is, like, $4. I don't have that type of money to spend no more clothes. My clothes is already patented as it is. And I know I could just sell my clothes and buy more or go to one of those trade places. But usually those trade places don't want to trade my clothes for theirs. Kind of sucks. So. Anyway. Long rant over. Vlog is done. E little bit. Anyway. I will see y'all get you guys later. And I'm sorry about not updating this YouTube more. Basically because I've been busy on my other two YouTubes. Kill them too. There's my wingless airy, which is spelled with one S, so it's like wingles airy. That's because I created wingless airy as a vlog channel. Decided I didn't want it, deleted it, should have kept it, but deleted it. And so now my new channel has to be wingles airy, which I still say wingless, so it's still wingless. I don't care what anyone else says, it's pronounced wingless. And then the other one, I'm, well I haven't been working on it for like the past two months I think. I think the last time we updated this one was in September, or was it October? I can't remember now. I'm getting bad at not remembering. It's the, um, dance YouTube that me and my friend, who is also into the steampunk fashion now, and I've been talking about Ashley, uh, me and her created a channel called the Hawaii Girls TV. Right now it's just dancing, eventually we're gonna have makeup tutorials, Hair tutorials, nail tutorials, fashion tutorials, everything you need to know about to be a quiet girl. And no, not the original, oh it's so cute quiet, but a R version of quiet, which includes steampunk. With no really pink stuff. Like our first song, I was wearing a white and black top and black skirt with black boots, knee high. She was wearing black boots knee high, the exact same type of black skirt, which we both bought at different times, so we found this funny. <laughs> and a red shirt, or a red corset. Let me, let me get that right. I was wearing a black and white corset, and she was wearing a red corset. Yes. Anyway, um, that was our look for the video, and then we did the Nana or Nana song from Motocross Frontier that took us a while to learn because we actually made up a little bit of because we did the rock version and then we made up our own steps whenever it was the um, slower part of the vocally rock version so um, that was pretty cool to do mm -hmm. and we're we're supposed to be working on a couple of different songs but we've been kind of lazy we've been worried about holidays and I've been working on my fashion and I'll get her in this fashion so, yeah. Oh, and another fashion I'm getting into is Dolly K, which I already mentioned. It's just vintage decora, pretty much. 
attention because she likes Barry Kane. I like the pastel colors, I just do not like the pastel pink. It just doesn't look good on me. I mean, I do not disagree that it looks perfect for the look, and a lot of people can pull that look off. I mean, she can. She pulls it off almost every single day she does. Yeah, no, no, no. But, um, as for pastel pink on me, it doesn't look that great. And that sucks. Because that's one of the, like, main kind of colors. Because you can have, like, pastel blue, green, orange, purple, you know, all them. But whenever you go to a thrift store, the first pastel color that you normally see is pink. And that's more what you see on Fairy K's. So I was going to go into Dolly K. Because it's more of a brownish kind of look, vintage that kind of thing. I like the vintage look. I mean, I'm not a huge, huge fan of all the vintage clothing, but there's some things that I just go, oh my god, I have to have, kind of thing. Okay, this video is now 10 minutes long, so I'm super sorry, super, super, super quiet sorry I had to say it, that this video is long, and I'm going now, so I hope this video gets uploaded on YouTube and you guys actually see it. I know this is kind of random to say. Oh, and I am practicing singing because I want to start uploading songs onto my YouTube. I did before, and I took down two of them because I realized they were absolute crap. And I left the one up for that was for my friend. So anyway, bye! See you later.